Hello and welcome to this fifth producer's note for GCS Black Shark. And in this note, we're going to be taking a look at the primary sensor of the Black Shark, which is the I-251 Schwal. Now the Schwal is a daylight only camera system that does not have any real nighttime uh, capability built into it. Uh, nothing like a FLIR. So most of your combat operations in the Black Shark will be focused on daylight operations. Uh, the 251 itself is integrated into the larger K041 uh, weapon and navigation system. Another component of that system is the uh, PBI 800, which we talked about in the last note. And the handy thing about that is that we can actually um, uh, slay the Schwal sensor to targeting points in the PBI. And we'll take a look at that uh, a little while. The sensor itself can be uh, slewed around up to 35 degrees to either side and azimuth, uh, 15 degrees up and up to 80 degrees down, and we can slew it one of two ways. We can either use the uh, hat here on the cyclic, or we can use the helmet mounted sight. Uh, for now, we'll go ahead and use the, uh, the hat, and to wake up the Schwal, we'll go ahead and press the um, uncage button. And when we do that, we now have a small circle on the HUD, which represents our current line of sight for the sensor. Um, I'll go ahead and start to slew it down, and you'll see that on the HUD. And now on the uh, TV display, which is termed the IT23, we see imagery of what the sensor is seeing. And we can slew it left and right, up and down. So we're going to target here. And below the IT23, we have the IT23 control panel. Uh, from this panel, we can uh, adjust the uh, symbology to be either white or black. We can adjust the brightness of the helmet mounted sight. We can adjust the brightness of the IT23 display. And we can adjust the contrast of this display. On the display itself, we have symbology which includes our airspeed, our elevation angle of the uh, sensor, the azimuth angle of the sensor, uh, roll bars, our field of view brackets, and our target cursor. Uh, also, when we have the radar altimeter on and we're at a low enough altitude, we'll get a uh, radar altimeter scale down here as well. Now, while we have the um, uh, sensor uncaged, it's stabilized in pitch and azimuth, and if I now hit the uncaged button a second time, it'll initiate an automatic uh, scan pattern going left to right, and then keep repeating that back and forth. Now note though, as it scans, it's not going to automatically stop and lock a target that it comes across. Uh, to do that, you would have to um, stop the scan by pressing the uh, slew button and then locking the target. Uh, right now we have the uh, seeker slew, and it looks at about uh, one degree per second but we can adjust that as slow as 0.25 degrees per second up to three degrees per second. And we can uh, adjust that uh, with this knob right here. So I'll go ahead and kick it up to uh, two degrees per second. And you'll see it's moving uh, quite a bit faster now. And again, I just uh, hit the uh, slew button to go ahead and stop that scan. Now at any point I can go ahead and cage the seeker back to the boresight position. So it's back up here, boresight, look it up in the sky. And also I can go ahead and hit the reset button down here, which will uh, give me my navigation HUD back as well as essentially putting the fall back in standby. So now we have uh, basic navigation in hover mode and the falls in standby. But for now I'll go ahead and uh, uncage it again and uh, bring her back down. Now, I can go ahead also now and hit the lock button. And that gives me, a uh, again, a tracking on that point. But the additional information I get is a range finder using a laser of, in this case, 1.6 kilometers from that point. I can also go ahead and adjust the size of my tracking gate, either increase or decrease. And I want to keep that about the size of the target I want to lock up. In this case, if it looks like a striker out there, uh, I can go ahead and zoom in from 7x up to 23x. 
and I'll put that cursor over the target, hit the lock button again, and now I have what appears to be in English uh, a TA symbol, which uh, indicates uh, automatic tracking. And the advantage of this is that if this target starts to move or is already moving, that the sensor will automatically keep tracking that target. Uh, over here on the Averis, we see a yellow line from our aircraft uh, along the azimuth of our sensor. And we have two small yellow captain bars, which uh, indicate the ground point of the line of sight of the sensor. Now go ahead and unlock it by holding down the lock button and slewing off.